A trip to West Texas didn't turn out to be very hospitable for the Cardinals, but a return home saw the end of a long skit against a rival. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Kerr, along with head coach Tick Price. Greg. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You are watching the Lamar basketball show. And, Coach, uh, that first trip out to uh, Abilene Christian this season, gosh, you go back last year when you guys lost on a half-court shot. It was just unbelievable to see. So you go back out there with a little bit of revenge on your mind, I would guess. And you know, you had to open up the show with that. You had to get that out of your I mouth. Know. I had to get it out. Okay, it out. all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Abilene Christian is a tough place to play. It's a long trip. It's about eight hours. Mm -hmm. um, I think our players are uh, looking forward to, to the game. Uh, but as it goes, it's always been a tough place for us. Um, we jumped out front and uh, we did not finish the job. First half, we had about three straight turnovers, a bad shot, and they climbed right back in it. You can't have turnovers and then come back and take a couple bad shots. You've got to have some consistency, take care of the ball, and make sure you have good shot selection. You know, no team wants to be on a bus for eight hours, Coach. Is that kind of the limit as far as having to, to take a bus that far to a road game? Do you wish you could maybe fly to a game like that? Well, hopefully in, in the future we will. Um, We've always driven. I'm not sure if there's a limit, uh, but we did have the opportunity to um, s stay overnight there, mm -hmm. get a good night's sleep, get up in the morning, come on back, because so, we knew we had a real tough test on Saturday against Stephen F. Austin. Uh, we were hoping to get go 2-0, and but that didn't work out that way. But 1-1 one one is okay. It's better than 0-2, no that's for sure. Absolutely. We're going to check in with that SFA game, which was uh, very impressive on your team's part. First, let's head out to uh, Abilene, where you took on uh, the Wildcats. Yeah. And, Coach, this was uh, uh, kind of another one of those games of runs. Yeah, it was. Uh, their big kid uh, played very well for them, uh, Jalen Friday. He ended up he had some nice post-up moves in the paint. Uh, I thought Josh and Zekor uh, stepped up and, and played well. He had 18 points and seven rebounds. We had four guys in double figures. Uh, Zori Bosha had 15 points. James Harrison had 12. James came out on fire, and uh, somebody moved, threw some cold water out there or something because he, uh, he missed a, a few shots he normally make. But there we are now attacking. Um, Joy Frenchwood got us in a, one of our sets, a nice screen from Josh and Z-Core, Zori Bosch hit a nice jump shot. Yeah, and Zori had a nice week. Uh, Coach, you did a good job on the offensive glass. There's another three you were talking about. And, you know, James was a guest last week. Maybe that fired him up. Yeah, I'm hope, hopefully it'll stay fired up. But on the glass, you know, you're yeah. getting 14 offensive boards. Uh, we ended up winning the boards. But, um, you know, our guest, uh, uh, TJ, uh, I think he did a good job of coming in uh, and helping us uh, with a uh, extra ball handler, a guy who's capable of scoring uh, inside out. And uh, we were able to get some penetrating pitches uh, like we just saw right there. Uh, but we've got to do a bit better job protecting the paint. Uh, I thought we uh, a little bit soft in the paint. Uh, we, you know, they said, you know, you can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. Yeah. And so we've got to learn to uh, hit the accelerator and keep moving uh, once we get that lead and, and not play hesitant or play not to lose. We've got to always play to win bas those basketball games. All right, and here's your final score from that game. It was Abilene Christian winning it over Lamar, 74-69. to ACU shot 54% in the win. Lamar only 35%. The Cardinals dropped to 5-5 five and five in conference. Again, there is your final score, a five-point loss for Lamar and coach you did a lot of that without uh, Colton Weisbrot who what mm -hmm. clanked knees with one of the one of the ACU players yeah um, he bumped knees and his knee kind of got a little stiff on him and became a little sore uh, but you know when the next man is called up got to get the job done right and so uh, you know we we don't look for excuses um, we lost a that was a big loss for us but this time of the year you have nicks and bruises and the teams that can uh, get through that type of adversity and normally it would be the team that comes out on top. Right. We are in February now, so it's down, down the stretch run we go here. Yeah, of yeah. course. you got to finish strong. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, Lamar basketball history, shall we? Here is the Howell Furniture trivia question. This is a tough one, Coach. If you have the answer, you do know your Lamar basketball history. 
Name the player who holds the Lamar record for rebounds in a single game. Oh, that's easy. I got that you one. You feel like you oh, know yeah, that Oh, yeah, I feel it. All right. This is not a trick question. There is a, a real answer to it. Because, you know, I would never trick you. No, no. I know my trivia anyway when it comes to <laughs> I the I know you do. I do. I know you do. All right. We'll be back with uh, that in just a bit. Now, before we go to break, let's go to our Kinsel Toyota social media question of the week. Coach, what is the best piece of advice you've ever received in the coaching world? This is from Pete Medina out of Cove, Texas, by way of Facebook. Probably the best advice I got, uh, I worked at Auburn as an assistant coach for head coach Tommy Joe Eagles. Oh, yeah. And we were talking one day and I was telling him someday, uh, I want to be a head coach. And uh, I said, you know, I got a lot of coaches I work for I like to emulate. And he said, well, you don't have to be like anybody you work for, just be yourself. And if you be yourself, the kids will pick up on that. And uh, that's what I've done. I've never tried to be like anybody I work for. I just basically have taken from everybody and have used it to become the coach that I am. Um, and my personality, I'm always tried to have an open door policy with my players. Mm -hmm. I try to inspire and encourage as well as motivate them. And that's basically who I am. Uh, that's awesome. And we all have to have influence along the way yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I've had quite a few guys who've influenced my coaching career. Some I can still call on today. Your high school coach, right? One of them. I often called yeah. him. Yeah. Was uh, was Barkley at Auburn when you were there? No, but I've heard a lot of Barkley stories, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> okay. All right. When we come back, we'll unveil our Cardinal Player of the Week, and Coach will break down the Lamar route of Stephen F. Austin. It was a huge win for the Cardinals. We're coming right back. Lamar University Basketball with Coach Tip Price. Brought to you by Provost Dumfrey Law Firm, Exxon Mobil, Kenzel Toyota, Hal Furniture, Bob Wortham, Raymond James Financial, and Susan and Roger McCurry. This is electricity. This is a power plant. This is Tim Barkholz. That's me. This is something he's researching at ExxonMobil, using fuel cells to capture carbon emissions at power plants. This is the potential. Reducing CO2 emissions by up to 90%, while also producing more power. This could be big. Energy lives here. Provost Humphrey has spent over 45 years fighting for those suffering from diseases caused by benzene and related chemicals. Today, we continue those efforts by representing workers in the oil, maritime, and shipping industries. Companies have known for decades that benzene exposure can cause leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, and other blood cancers. Our firm has the assets, resources, and knowledge to stand head-to-head -head with industry and get you answers and the justice you deserve. Provost Humphrey. Hard-working lawyers for hard-working people. Hat maker Vincent Brimble prospered in the town of Haddington. Never flashy, he only made the classic bowler. Then suddenly the day's trend became preposterously tall. His Raymond James financial advisor reminded him that focusing on the long term is always fashionable. The fad was indeed a passing one. His patience paid off, allowing him to one day hang up his hat with confidence. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. Hi, I'm Susan McCurry. I'm Roger McCurry. And, and we, we love, love our Lamar Cardinals. Cardinals. Show your support for the team this season. Come join the fun and find out what a great team we have. Lamar basketball is the best ticket in town and the LU spirit is fantastic. Go, Go Cards. Cards! He's a winning basketball coach. She's a winning business owner. Glad to have you on board. How Furniture is excited to be a sponsor for Lamar Basketball. Together they form a winning team. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture. Two great teams now together. We work together as a team. And so do we. We have layups. And so do we. We help our community. And so do we. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar Basketball. Go Cards! We are back with the Lamar Cardinal Basketball Show with head coach Tick Price. Lamar needed a win and would have to come against one of the top teams in the league in Stephen F. Austin. And coach, this was a resounding win for your team. In fact, how about some uh, little trivia note for us? The biggest win against a Lumberjack basketball team for Lamar since 1960. Wow. Amazing. Great job. We really didn't know that. We just went out because we were in desperate need of a win. I thought our players showed the resolve. 
um, to respond after a very upsetting loss on the road. Uh, it's tough to win on the road, but when you have a team like Stephen F. Austin mm -hmm. coming to your backyard, you certainly have to be mentally as well as physically ready. Stephen F. Austin uh, team is going to always play hard, but I thought our guys gave probably as close to a 40-minute performance as we have all year. Also, not only was it a huge win for you to stay in the race here for the Southland Conference uh, Tournament, it was also the first time in uh, 11 games you'd snapped a 10-game losing streak to the Jacks. So a lot of stuff off the table, and that's a great thing for this team moving forward. Yeah, it is. Well, we need to get some momentum, especially going into the tournament, and we, we need to be, become one of the hottest teams. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we will uh, have the confidence as we go back on the road again and uh, see if we can win a few of those road games before we come back home. But Stephen F. Austin is a fine basketball team. Uh, they've got uh, championship DNA. They understand what it takes to, uh, to win at a very high level. I thought our guys responded very well. We got key performances. Zori Bosha had 18 points, five or six rebounds, and, and really did a good job defensively. Now, Zori does so many of the small things um, to help us win and all the intangibles that it takes. Uh, I thought Nick Goff hit some big shots, James Harrison hit some big shots. Of course, uh, Josh and Zekor gave us a double-double again. Uh, so we had guys step up, uh, even with a little freshman there, Jordan Foster got a mm -hmm. couple blocks. He, he tried to be, a, he was a presence in the paint and uh, he tries to uh, play with a lot of energy when he comes in, and he's done that. There's Josh and Zico with a monster dunk. He played like a grown man mm -hmm. in, in the paint area. And, Coach, anytime you're hitting the three ball, you're extremely dangerous. Who's that guy, number 15? Yeah, how about that? Well, we'll figure that out here in a little bit. <laughs> Look at a nice pass, break into the bucket yeah. for two. How about yeah. that? Good look by yeah. Atwood to uh, Nick for, easy, for Nick to, yeah. to lay it in. Yeah. Well, they, the way they pressure you and get in the passing lanes, you have to play them north-south. You can't play them east-west because they're not going to allow you to enter the ball uh, to the wings. So we found a way to uh, keep them pretty much on their heels and kick back out for spot-up jump shots. And coach, this was you, you struggled a little bit getting off to good starts at home, it seems. Mm -hmm. But this game, it was your game from really start to finish. Well, I think our fans came out to this particular game and energized us. Uh, mm -hmm. That helped a lot, um, knowing that you know, we had some former players come back. Uh, we had quite a few people want to come back and, and see this, this game between Stephen F. Austin. They draw people with their name. Uh, our biggest thing, we had to overcome the aura of playing SFA. That's what people in our league get caught up in. And I told our players, we're just as good as anybody in this conference when we want to come to play. And you, and you certainly were. Look at that final score, 76 to 54. Lamar over Stephen F. Austin. Four Cardinals in double figures, Coach. Bosha 18 and Zekor 16, Harrison 13, Garth 11. And anytime you can put four players in double figures, you got a good chance to win, right? Yeah, you do. You're spreading the ball, um, playing very unselfish. Uh, but another key stat for us was we, we dominated the paint. Uh, something right. like 43-26. Now we'll give you uh, Lamar outscored SFA in the paint 35-12. to 12. Yeah, and that's another yeah, key impressive. stat. Yeah. yeah, very impressive. And Cardinals improved to 6-5 and five in conference play. And then uh, it was a huge weekend for all, uh, all around for Lamar basketball, a reunion of former players to remember moments and share <laughs> stories, Coach. You've been a part of this as well. Yeah. And uh, it is great to see the, the players from – yesteryear come back and support the program and have a day for themselves. It is. We, uh, I went over to the reception Friday night and I heard all these uh, old stories. <laughs> uh, they, they were glad to see each other and, and hang out again. Uh, and it's good that uh, Lamont does that for their players to, uh, that comes back. Um, and I'll give our players something, too. There's Marcus Owens, one of our former players that played here. Lamar, Has he been gone long enough to qualify for this? Uh, Marcus <laughs> was going to come back. He loved his old teammates, and his right. teammates yeah. love him. It was good to see him. But Billy Tubbs coming back. Um, Norman Bellard did an excellent job of reaching out to former players to get them to come back. And I think a lot of them look forward to getting back to, to see the team play. And so it was a great thing to have everybody back. And I think it looks great to have the old players coming back and supporting the program yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
All right, time to get now to uh, name this week's Provost Umphrey Player of the Week and the Southland Conference Player of the Week. Well, not this time, but Zori had a terrific week mm -hmm. for the Lamar Cardinals. He had 15.6 rebounds in the game against Abilene Christian. Then Coach, he uh, put 18 on the board for you along with 10 re rebounds, a double-double against SFA. And uh, Zori, if you have him playing well, it makes you even tougher, doesn't it? It does because now it stretches the defense. Uh, we have Nick on one wing, Zori on another wing, or James. Uh, now, uh, if they concentrate on our post guys, which a lot of teams do, they try to make sure that our post guys don't uh, score in the paint. When they do that, when we have kickouts and our guys are knocking down shots, it makes us a very, very tough team to guard. All right, let's take a look now at the Southland Conference standings. And, Coach, uh, again at the top is uh, Nichols. You're familiar with Nichols. They came in here and uh, won a game for you on your home floor. But this uh, team is playing extremely well right now. Nichols at 8-2, and 14-9 overall. In fact, they beat UNO in New Orleans uh, over this last weekend by 17. Mm -hmm. So looks like Nichols playing well right now. Yeah, Nichols, is, uh, they've got a fine team, uh, UNO as well. Mm -hmm. uh, from 1 through 7, or one through eight uh, on any given night, teams can get beat. And so uh, the standards might look uh, a little different come next week, show uh, because everybody at this point know there are huge implications in terms of your performances, how you are in the standards in the next couple of weeks. There's a log jam right now, but with so much parity that everything could change after a loss or two. Keeps it exciting for the fans, no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah. Next on the Lamar Basketball Show with head coach Tick Price, we'll visit with Lamar sophomore T.J. Atwood. I'm Bob Worth, your district attorney and a Lamar graduate. Basketball and law enforcement have a lot in common. To have a winning basketball program, all players must work together. To have a safe and successful community, all citizens must work with law enforcement. If you witness a crime, report your facts immediately. If you receive a jury summons, don't look for a way out. Take the opportunity to serve. Let your voice be heard. Let's all work together for a safe Jefferson County. Hey Lamar basketball fans, how would you like a free car wash? When the Cardinals win this week, you also win. Bring your ticket stub from a winning game to Kinsel Toyota before the Cardinals' next home game and receive a free car wash. When the Cardinals win this week, you win a free car wash from Kinsel Toyota, a proud supporter of Lamar basketball. Kinsel Toyota and Lamar basketball, a winning combination. Let's go Cardinals. Two powerful teams are now one. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture, a winning combination. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar University Basketball with Coach Tick Price. Go Cards! Lamar Basketball Show, sophomore forward TJ Atwood out of Beaumont Central High School. TJ, thanks for being here. So, thanks for having me. You bet. So, you. Um, have gone from freshman to sophomore. What has been the biggest difference, uh, not only in you as a player, but say even academically? Have you learned a lot kind of making that jump from high school and being an outstanding player to the college scene? Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. Now that I have a year of experience in the classroom and on the court, uh, a lot more responsibility in the classroom and in practice. Uh, I know what to expect. Uh, I know what to do. I know how hard I have to play. So now I'm just working on uh, being a leader to everybody else coming in, everybody else that's new, that doesn't really know what's going on, and just giving them, uh, you know, an idea of what, we, what we're supposed to do throughout the year, so. Are you the kind of player that enjoys going on the road, getting in the game, and, and playing before fans that you don't know, or do you like at home better? Um, I definitely like it at home better. Uh, for one, I am playing in my hometown city, Beaumont, Texas, so <laughs> <That's> uh, <right. laughs> I definitely like it better. But um, I also like it on the road, too. It gives me a good chance for other people to see me, and, um, just to see, just to see us as a team and what we can do. 
um, just glad to have that opportunity. So. TJ, you come in off the bench. You never know when coach is going to call your name. So what kind of mindset do you have to have knowing that he might be tapping me on the shoulder and he might not? So how do you, how do you approach an even, each and every game and even every practice for that matter? Um, every practice I do um, have the same mindset. Um, work as hard as I can. Make sure I pay attention to the scouting report. Even when he calls my name, um, just do my job. Play hard and do whatever he asks me to do to the best of my ability. That's pretty much all I can do. Everything else should take care of itself. So. Well, I know you're a proud Central High Jaguar. Yeah, and definitely it would am. appear, TJ, that your high school is going to merge with Ozan here in Beaumont. <laughs> I, I know it hurts. I know it hurts. But seriously, though, what, um, what goes through your mind when you think about that, knowing that, you know, and there's so many people in this area that don't have high schools anymore because of all the merging and the shutting down and all that stuff. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it's definitely tough. Um, nowadays, I just think about uh, the kids that are, you know, attended Central High School right now, and uh, I'm just wondering what they're thinking, you know, what's their mindset, how are things going to go when they combine, you know, with Ozan, and how things are going to go in the classroom, uh, uh, especially on the court when they have to play with each other. Um, I, I wouldn't say I feel bad for them, you know, I, I just say it, would, it definitely feel funny, you know, definitely feel awkward because now everybody, usually, Usually everybody um, waits for the Central Ozan matchup every year. It's always a thing to see, but uh, it's going to be tough not to have that to look forward to later this year. So I'm definitely going to miss that, and I hope it's not too long that it's going to be like this. So. Right, right, okay. All right, TJ, thank you so much. So Enjoy talking to you. Thank you. When we come back, we'll leave the court to talk with the guy who's the man behind the information. You're watching the Lamar Cardinal Basketball Show with head coach Tick Price. Hat maker Vincent Brimble prospered in the town of Haddington. Never flashy, he only made the classic bowler. Then suddenly the day's trend became preposterously tall. His Raymond James financial advisor reminded him that focusing on the long term is always fashionable. The fad was indeed a passing one. His patience paid off, allowing him to one day hang up his hat with confidence. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. Susan McCurry. I'm Roger McCurry. And, and we, we love, love our Lamar Cardinals. Cardinals. Show your support for the team this season. Come join the fun and find out what a great team we have. Lamar basketball is the best ticket in town and the LU spirit is fantastic. Go, Go Cards. Cards. He's a winning basketball coach. She's a winning business owner. Glad to have you on board. How Furniture is excited to be a sponsor for Lamar Basketball. Together they form a winning team. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture. Two great teams now together. We work together as a team. And so do we. We have layups. And so do we. We help our community. And so do we. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar Basketball. Go Cards! Hey, Lamar basketball fans, how would you like a free car wash? When the Cardinals win this week, you also win. Bring your ticket stub from a winning game to Kinsel Toyota before the Cardinals' next home game and receive a free car wash. When the Cardinals win this week, you win a free car wash from Kinsel Toyota, a proud supporter of Lamar basketball. Kinsel Toyota and Lamar basketball, a winning combination. Let's go Cardinals. Our next guest is Sports Information Director James Dixon. James, so much, uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. You are the guy that, um, you're almost like an unsung hero. You're the guy <laughs> behind the scenes who is up hour after hour compiling notes and, and stats and keeping things in order. And I, I think a lot of times Sports Information Directors don't get the credit they deserve because, I mean, that's your job. You're supposed to do that. But you put in some hours. Well, first off, can I have you recommend that to my boss, that unsung hero gets put on my, my door? I would do that for you. You know that. I appreciate that. You know that. I would do that for yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, actually, our job is, is to be behind the scenes. Uh, the, if you've ever heard somebody or in a game, you hear somebody uh, give a stat that, you know, the, the, the Cardinals are 5-0 and in Saturday games when it's raining outside and it's 80 degrees. You think, who comes up with those stats? We're the ones who track those stats and we come up with that. But it, that's, that's part of the fun of the job, looking up stats like this weekend uh, when we beat Stephen F. Austin. Uh, that, was, that was a pretty significant win yep. and it was a historical win. Going back and trying to find that uh, notes like that, it makes the job kind of fun. 
uh, tracking the career numbers for these guys like Nick Garth, a 1,000 point scorer. Uh, Colton Weisbrod is on the verge of doing that in just two years, and that's a pretty amazing accomplishment. So you get to be around young men and women, and you get to track their careers, and you get to, to see, and you get to be a part of small bits of history with the university, which is always exciting. And you also get to do some radio. Uh, as get, well, road games, that's really awesome. Yeah, there, there are times when uh, Harold Mann, the voice of the Cardinals, can't, mm -hmm. can't make it, and he asked me to fill in. Uh, I, I've been told that the listenership is way down on those, <laughs> those nights that <laughs> I do it. That's not true. But, uh, I, I enjoy doing it. It was something that I wanted to do uh, growing up as a little kid. Uh, my dad graduated from the University of Tennessee, and we would always listen to John Ward. Yeah. And my dad was always, would always brag about how John Ward created a picture in your mind without seeing the game. And so we would sit in, our, in, in the car and we would drive around the church parking lot where my dad pastored just trying to pick up the game on the radio. And I kind of uh, learned listening to him and kind of always wanted to be uh, uh, like him. So I was told in, in college that I had the face for radio, the hair for TV, and the voice for print journalism. So I, I don't know if it all works out or not. But. Very well put. Yeah, yeah. James, thanks so much. We do appreciate it and keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Thank right. you. Thank you. We're going to take a final time out, but on the other side of the break, we'll answer our Howell Furniture trivia question and preview upcoming Lamar games. This is electricity. This is a power plant. This is Tim Barkholz. That's me. This is something he's researching at ExxonMobil, using fuel cells to capture carbon emissions at power plants. This is the potential. Reducing CO2 emissions by up to 90%, while also producing more power. This could be big. Energy lives here. Provost Humphrey has spent over 45 years fighting for those suffering from diseases caused by benzene and related chemicals. Today, we continue those efforts by representing workers in the oil, maritime, and shipping industries. Companies have known for decades that benzene exposure can cause leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, and other blood cancers. Our firm has the assets, resources, and knowledge to stand head-to-head -head with industry and get you answers and the justice you deserve. Provost Humphrey, hard-working lawyers for hard-working people. All right, let's answer this week's Howell Furniture Trivia Question, Coach. It's a humdinger. It may be the toughest one we've asked so far. Name the player who holds the Lamar record for most rebounds in a game. Well, can I give it to the end of the show? Well, nah. this is the end of the show. So oh, it is. Go okay. Yeah, it just says that because it shouldn't uh, say that, but it did. Let's see. <laughs> Pit key. I'm just coming off. Pit key. Time. That's a good. That's a good uh, guess. But the answer is Otis Booker. 28 rebounds against wow. Texas Wesleyan back in 1965. Wow, that's, that's a lot a of rebound. One. That's going after him. All right, you got uh, Sam Houston. Sorry, we can't talk about Sam Houston on the road today. Big mm -hmm. game for you. It is. Sam Houston is a tough physical game uh, team, and it should be. Uh, it'll test our, our will to win going over there and uh, having to play them. All right, coach. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you so much, Peckham. Peckham. Lamar University Basketball with Coach Tick Price. Brought to you by Provost Humphrey Law Firm, ExxonMobil, Kenzel Toyota, Howe Furniture, Bob Wortham, Raymond James Financial, and Susan and Roger McCurry.